Hi, welcome back to another video with Ellie and myself in our 100 day challenge. We're um, a little over halfway through the challenge. This is now the video for week seven. I had a horse show here at the farm last week and so I got a little bit busy and didn't get this video out on time. But I set up a, a few jumps in our uh, one of our fields for the smallest division that we offer the, the grasshopper division and there's some colored logs out here and I thought it would be fun to to try Ellie through them in not such a big wide space as in the, the normal cross-country field but a little bit more enclosed and see what her response was. So after trotting around a while I felt like she was comfortable and we did have another horse um, in the corner of the arena, Gogo, uh, who's nice and quiet. And so she had a little bit of company out here to help with her comfort. Um, and then I just started to jump the log. It's always a little nerve-wracking um, going over a solid obstacle for the first time. Even though it's very small, um, you never know what's going to happen. And I felt like that was a, a good start. I always tell people that any jump can look very big depending on the horse that you're sitting on. And when you're sitting on a horse this green, um, you just hope that, that a few, uh, not too many mistakes are going to be made. And you can tell that even by that second log, she was jumping in better form. She's loping away quietly, and you know she starts to pick her ears up right here and look to the next jump. So I felt like she was really enjoying herself. And then she starts to play a little bit after the jumps, and uh, and I think that's a, an okay sign. You know, I don't punish that right away because I feel like she's she's kind of doing a little end zone dance and and saying she's having a good time. Starting right about now, she becomes a little bit difficult to get back into the trot. She just wants to keep cantering. And I'm hesitant to, to really pull her into a trot but too close to the jump because that is awfully close to me telling her to not jump the jump. So she kind of fumbles through that one and then uh, decide to continue on and jump that one out of a canter. And I feel like that's a big step up for a horse. When you trot jumps, you are slowing everything down, giving them more time to process all the new information and cantering them, everything comes much more quickly and they have to have better body control and leg, leg uh, sorting out than, than they do at the trot. And uh, so that was the only one I was going to do and I pulled her up to a walk and rewarded her. So after that break, um, I continue on and do another little set of jumping and in retrospect, I wish I hadn't. And I'm including this portion of the video because I feel like it's very important for people to always recognize with their horses when is a good place to stop and when is a good place to go on. And, you know, as I look back, she did all the previous jumps in that first set so beautifully, and I should have stopped right there and just said, called it a day. One thing I'm, I do tell my students is you want to ride one day so that the next day is better. You don't want to take steps backwards and wish that you hadn't. And it's not that she was harmed by me continuing on, but I felt like she was a little bit tighter here. Her steps were quicker. She's a, I could hear her breathing much more frequently, and she started to sweat. And that's a little bit of a sign to, that she's getting nervous and a little bit tense. tense. Um, so I do wish that I had just called it a day and uh, repeated it again the next day. horse gets concerned and tense, then they start to make a few more mistakes. And that wasn't a bad mistake, you know, it was just typical for a green horse, but her reaction on the backside shows me that she's um, winding up a little bit rather than staying in kind of a learning state of mind. So right about now I'm saying to myself, okay, I need to slow everything down and uh, give her some more just simple trots. I think I do just one more jump. and. Um, and help her just relax a little bit and think it's not so difficult. I'm trying to take the pressure off so that uh, we can come back in a few days and repeat it and have a, a good successful time. So the take home message from this video I think is an important one and that is to always look at your long-term goals 
and put your small daily workouts in the context of those longer goals. And while I don't think this workout set her back any, I do feel like with her temperament a little bit borderline on the spicier side, she would do better with a little bit shorter workouts when the situation is new and she's still learning new skills. So I'm going to take that into consideration in the future, and I think it will help us both. Uh, see you next week. Thanks.